Hi, Josh Carr here. Um, just wanted to show you a silly little trick, something I use in pretty much all my modeling projects. Um, something that happens to me a lot is someone will send me a spreadsheet and it'll have something really simple, like, you know, four times five, and that'll be like 20, right? And then somewhere else in the model, they will have written something like, I don't know, 16. And then they'll make a note here, like, do not show to client. And then they'll take this and they'll make this like white text or something, right? And the problem, of course, is if you have four times five is 20 and somewhere else you have the number 16 and you wrote a little note here, how do you find that? I mean, in this case, you can sort of see the lines are missing in the cells. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, depending on the YouTube resolution, but like, that's not easy to find. So this is what you do. Step one, zoom out a lot. Step two, find and select, go to special, go to blank cells. Again, that's under the home tab, find and select, go to special blank cells, press okay. It will now highlight all of the cells that are blank and it'll stop highlighting stuff when it runs out of data. As you can see, where I had my little logo and my email address and the four times five is 20 thing, it shows up. But over here where it's white, it's like someone took a bite out of the apple. And as you can imagine, if I then highlight that area and I make that black text, there it is and it appears. Uh, I use this on every time, well, I use this like every time someone sends me a model. Uh, it is amazing when you zoom out and you do this stupid little trick, what you find. Sometimes it's alternate underwriting. Sometimes it's someone just typed irrelevant information. I worked on one deal where it was a bank that was selling a bunch of assets and they had separately somewhere else on the spreadsheet what they had accepted on prices of assets that they were selling. And instead of deleting that information from the spreadsheet, they just made it white text and then it was all there for people to see. Um, so yeah, long story short, really simple again. I take this, I make this say white text, or maybe I do like a custom format where I format it as semicolon, 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 which is another way to make things disappear. Find and select, go to special, blank cells, press OK, and there it is, right? Cool. Anyway, I hope you find that helpful. Uh, I think it's a useful little thing. Uh, if you have any questions, any other ideas for things you'd like to throw into a model or questions about financial modeling in general, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is, as always, josh at carrealestate.com, or you can check out my website at kahrrealestate.com. And until I see you again, keep building better models. Thanks.